Right, good afternoon my people, or shall I say good morning? A couple of days until Jesus goes to the cross. But let's know one thing, it all started from Wednesday, right? Because then you've got Wednesday night, you've got Thursday and Friday, right? Because Sunday is not the day of rest, it's not the Sabbath. Saturday is the Sabbath. So Jesus started going through his trial today. On Wednesday okay so we're gonna go then he said so we're gonna go to Luke chapter verse 23 and we're gonna read it then he says the whole multitude of them arose and led him to Pilate and they began to accuse him saying we found this fellow perverting the nations and forbidding to pay taxes to Caesar saying that he himself is Christ the King, which is not true. Because Jesus, he took the coin and he said, whose head's on this coin? And they said, Caesar. And Jesus turned around and he said to all the Jews and the Pharisees and the scribes and everyone, he said, pay unto Caesar, which is due unto Caesar, and pay unto Jehovah God, which is due unto him. So they were lying, right? False accusing him. Then Pilate asked him saying, are you the King of the Jews? He answered him and said, It is as you say. So Jesus is agreeing. So Pilate said to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no fault in this man. But they were more fierce, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee to this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked if the man were a Galilean. And as soon as he heard that, he said to them, what things? So they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God. And all the people, and how are the chief priests and our rulers delivered to him to be commanded to death and crucified him? But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, beside all this, so let's stop there, right? These people, Jews, right? Judas, Barabbas and all them lot, right? Peter, Paul and all the rest of them, right? They thought Jesus was the second coming, which he was. They thought he was going to come to wage war. Like all the other kings before Jesus. But Jesus didn't come to bring the sword of war. He come to bring peace. Though he brings division sometimes against mother and daughter, father and son. Yeah, He brings a division. right? He divides people. He separates the lamb from the sheep. So either you are... No, he separates the goats from the sheep. Either you are a goat or you are a sheep. Okay? So they weren't happy then. So that's why they wanted Jesus crucified and they wanted Barabbas free. Because they knew Barabbas was going to go to war more. They knew Barabbas was going to go and ki try and kill the Romans. As with Jesus, they knew Jesus wasn't going to do that now. So they had no faith, no hope in him now. So then we go down, still on verse 23. But then we go down to verse 25. Then he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe. This is Jesus speaking, right? This is what Jesus is saying now. He's saying, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not the Christ to have to Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And Beginning of Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all scriptures the things concerning himself. Then they drew near to the village where they were going, and he indicated that he would have gone further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is far spent. And he went to stay with them. Now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took 
bread and blessed it and broke it. So now, Jesus, he's at the supper. Now, can you imagine, right? Jesus is sitting around the table now. And he knows his hour is coming. Right? He knows he's got to go to the cross. To free us from the bondage of sin. And he knows he has to go into hell. And he knows how much punishment he has to take. Because hell is nasty. And our sins are nasty. We're contaminated. We're like filthy rags onto the Lord. Ain't nothing good about us until we get washed and sanctified in the blood of Jesus. And it don't matter how much Bible you read. It don't matter how much you go to church, how much tithe you pay, how much worship you do. It's about the resurrection. It's about Jesus when he went to the cross. And I'm not talking about him swinging on a tree or hanging on a pieces of wood. The wood and the tree can't save you. But the battle that Jesus went through when he went into hell took the key back that Adam lost to the devil. So take it so to my people over the next few days with your family get some bread and eat the bread together and you and be as one in the body of Christ and get some juice not wine get some juice and drink the juice and you shall be filled with the blood of Jesus so then it says now we're going down to verse 30. Now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread, blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. Then their eyes were open and they knew him and he vanished from their sight. And they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road? So, you know, that's the last supper, Right? So now Jesus, he's being carried away, right? And he's gone to Herod and Herod's mocking him. At this time, he's just been battered, right? By the Roman soldiers, got a crown of thorns on his head. Jesus is bleeding, he's battered. He, he's gone to Herod now. Herod's mocking him, asking him loads of questions. Jesus is tired. Can you imagine? Could you imagine you've just been battered left, right and centre? You've been battered. Your back is ripped open. Yeah? Because they whipped him. And they whipped him. And they whipped him. And they whipped him. He took that for our punishment. He took that for our sins. He took that upon himself to do that for us. You know? So, he's gone to Pilate. Now he's gone to Herod. Herod's mocking him. Everybody in the synagogue, they're mocking him, saying, nah, send him back, right? So, he's gone back, right? And then, they say, and then we go down, and then we read, but they were insistent, demanding a loud voice that he be crucified. So, this side, you've got Barabbas. That side, Barabbas. That side, Jesus. At the back is the Jews. And Pilate's standing there. And he's saying, people of Jerusalem, who shall I let free? And all the crowd and the Pharisees and the Sadducees are saying, Barabbas, 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 Barabbas. And Pilate's saying, but this man, Jesus, King of the Jews, has done nothing wrong. But they were still screaming, Barabbas, see, they wanted a murderer to go free instead of their saviour. 
right? But it was all part of Jehovah's plan. Jesus had to go to that place. He had to get crucified, right? So then Pilate, he goes, right? And he washes his hands, see that? Washes his hands. And he says, this blood be upon each and every one of you. So he just prophesies really. Because the love of Jesus, even though what people did to him, and even though what he went through, he still loves us. He did it. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus did that, all right? So now, all right, they've done all that to him. Now he's on the cross, all right? Now you've got a thief that side, and you've got a thief that side. The thief this side was mocking him, saying, ah, ain't this Jesus? who said he was the king of the Jews, rare, 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 he can't even let himself down, look, look, Jesus, you can't even help us now. And this other one here, we say, to the thief this side, he said, how dare you mock? We are supposed to be on this cross. But this man, this man has done nothing wrong. And Jesus, and then the man said, Jesus, remember me when we were in paradise. And Jesus says, I will remember you. And the greatest thing he ever said was, Father, forgive them, for they not know what they do. So I'm making an altar call today. Get on your hands and knees today. And say, Dear Lord, please forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died on the cross I believe that you went and took the whips and the nails in your hand to set us free from sin. I believe that you are the true Son of God and that you rose three days later. Jesus, I give all my life and everything I have onto you this day. Take charge of my life once and forever. In your name, Jesus. Amen. If you said that prayer, holler back at me. Hashtag faith dealer all day long. Have a nice and blessed festival and keep safe in the name of Jesus. Amen.